happy Friday, Mike here. And today we're going to close out um, the last few points of action, the last few points of establishing change for yourself and also for your organization. This is, uh, these are, these are, I think this is my, actually my favorite part of all this. So this is what I love to do. Um, the first two points that we talked about were the first one was coming up with a vision. And the second part was telling somebody about it. Um, I would say that somewhere between one and two, there's also the, the, the sub point of developing strategy, um, to kind of determine the, what the next step is. And so I'm going to talk to you about that one later. I think that's a sub point. And I would encourage you when you're developing strategy to pull people into that collaborate, um, and listen, ice is back. What, I don't know what I'm talking about. So anyway, so the, here's the thing is, uh, the third step is this, take a step. That's the third step. Take a step. Now, this is a big deal. And the reason why this is a big deal is just simply because of this, is that when you actually start to make a step towards something new, when you start to make some changed behaviors in your life, when you start to identify who you really are and where you're supposed to go, you will have the forces of your former universe trying to stop you, trying to keep you in their orbit and trying to pull you back into the things that you're familiar with. It's really important that you have your eyes set on the right things, that you have hope in your heart, that you know exactly who you are and you know exactly where you're going to go. Because the thing is, is that, is that this is where the chaos is going to happen. Tuckman has a model of change to where he talks about these four things. He talks about norming, or I'm, I'm sorry, forming, to where the idea of like, okay, what is, what is the plan? What's the vision? What's, what are we actually trying to accomplish here? And then that second thing is once change starts to happen, you step into storming. This is where the forces of the universe, your friends, your family, the, the things that are around you, they start to create insecurity, the thoughts in your head, all those things kind of start coming up. And it's and these things are going to try to keep you in the, orb, the, uh, the orbit of the things that you used to know. So it's very important that during this next stage, as you take one step, this is for the brave, this is for the bold, this is for the folks that are willing to make a change and to step into their better. So uh, this is a this is a hard thing because as you make that step, you're going to have a lot of things come at you that's going to try to keep you into your orbit. So you have to identify a new tribe. You have to identify um, a greater sense of, of vision and values and even behaviors for your own personal life and also for your organization. Change is hard for everybody, and that's why Tuckman rolls out that model. So the whole... Uh, forming, storming, and then norming, coming into a normal performance model, and then performing. This is where you get to the top of the hill, and things are going great. Now, after taking a step, the last point is simply this. Is stick the landing. So we have those four things, right? The first one, come up with a dream. Come up with a vision that's bigger than yourself. Come up with something that's impossible, Number two is tell somebody about it. Share your dream, collaborate with them, um, and, 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 and collaborate on a strategy on how to move forward. The third thing is commit to making one significant step. It doesn't have to be a big step, but just one significant, could be a small step, but it's significant, right? And the fourth thing is stick the landing. I say number four is the hardest of them all, even though number three is harder, uh, is hard. Number four, is the most difficult and the reason is is simply this is because as you go through number three you're going to have a lot of different excuses for you to turn around you're going to have a lot of different reasons that are going to pop up that's going to try to convince you that you shouldn't keep going down the path because once you stick the landing guess what you get to start this process all over again and you're going to get a bigger vision you're going to get a, a bigger strategy you're going to get a bigger thought process you're going to get a bigger dream and that is really the point. You were created to be innovative. You were created to be creative. You were created to do significant things. And you weren't left out of the story. You have a story. You are significant. And you matter. So I hope that is something that you can chew on today. Hit me up in the comments below. We'd love to engage with you today. Thanks.